morning time. Yes, wakey wakey. I'm gonna stretch it out. Oh. Oh, good boy. All right, get down. All right, phone. You're next. This is Easter breakfast, don't judge me. Today it's, it's still kind of frozen on the ground. Um, it's uh, Easter Sunday and I gotta get out here. The sun's gonna be shining here, get up over the trees, melt everything and make it a sloppy mess. So, Quickly, I want to use the tractor to get these logs over to where my sawmill is, my chainsaw mill, uh, for future projects. So I want to drive what I think I'm going to mill today over there. Um, so what I'm doing is going through these tamaracks and figuring out which ones I'm going to be using for uh, posts and, and which ones I'm going to be using for beans. Start building on my garage um, and I need for the middle section, I'm gonna need six uh, posts and I'm going to need four beams. The, uh, 20 feet wide, I figure. I'm gonna build um, trusses to span that. And then off of that, those, those side walls are gonna be pretty tall, probably around nine feet, I'm thinking. Um, and then I'll have two shed roofs coming off that. So it'll be like lean-tos coming off that. And then those walls on the lean-to side will only be six feet. Um, but you'll have the rafter above you, which will give you enough headroom. That's what I'm envisioning right now. So I need um, five feet in the ground and about nine feet uh, above. So about 14 feet for the uh, posts. And then the beams have to be about 13 feet because they're going to span and overlap each other. And um, the whole garage is going to be about 24 feet deep to house my trucks and vehicles and um, so I'm thinking 12 and 12 but you want the the beams I'm gonna kind of overlap them and um, kind of interconnect them like uh, I don't know how you want to say it they'll overlap so those are gonna have to be about 13 feet so I'm trying to look at each one pick it up look at it and see um, how straight I can get it um, for those lengths I'm shooting for those lengths and uh, I'm not going to build this in the round. It'll be like half round and half flat, meaning I'm only going to, if I can get a 13 footer for a, for a beam, I want to make one side flat. So then when I put my truss on there, it'll be easy to drop the truss on it and I can level it up. Uh, 
16 footer I just cut off and hit the ground. It's, uh, seven and a half inches on the small end diameter, which is about the minimum I want to make my, my beams because they're going to be spanning close to 12 feet. Or you can span unsupported um, one and a half times the length of the board. So if you have an eight footer, you can span four more feet to so 12 feet. And that's seven and a half, but it's, it's gonna be really thick because I'm gonna leave it on the round um, on three sides and just the top will be flat. And then I'll notch the two bottom spots where they, they land on the posts, if that makes sense. But the whole middle will still be rounded. So it'll be fairly thick. So I think you get a little more strength. Plus Tamarack is supposed to be a, a very strong wood. Yeah, so that's, that's the plan. I did the math in my head. Um, a lot of years of school, engineering school for this stuff. So pretty confident. If I would have uh, did this in like two hours, I would have just completely destroyed everything. I mean, I destroyed, I mean, relative term. Look at this place. It's a mess. It's a job site. Anyway, if I get these three milled up even today, I'm going to call that good because it's Easter and uh, there's a baseball game on. So I kind of want to watch that too. So we'll see. I got two uh beams in there i think for sure well we'll see once i cut it but uh and then the other one i'll figure out what i'm gonna use it for the uh second log loaded up i already milled one of them i just did a flat spot on one this one is going to be a post because it's not long enough to be a, a, a beam so my posts i want about a little over 10 feet long because they'll be dropped in the ground a little over four feet and then uh i need a uh, six feet above the ground on the outsides post so if we kind of come back here i'll kind of show you what i'm talking about the garage will be 44 feet wide they'll sit right here and i have space for a 44 foot wide garage and 24 feet deep which will um accept my truck and still have i don't know three or four feet um to spare this is just to keep the cars covered of, with snow you know so it'll be open um, in the beginning I'll have three carports on the right and then my shop will eventually be on this side and that'll be 12 feet by 24 I'll show this log mill in the future I'm still trying to work out the kinks it doesn't exactly work uh, as advertised and I'll kind of go through that in a future video but it does make my life simpler um, in the end. I mean, it still, it still does what it needs to do. It just doesn't work um, perfectly. But anyway, um, what it does do is you drop a log on there and you have a flat rail. And then you can just tweak these two log lifters. There's one here and one on the other side that move up and down independently. And you can get that log... Um, and make that first initial cut which for an alaskan sawmill that i've used for all my other posts and and stuff is uh, a real pain because you have to build that flat spot on the log so when you're working with logs that aren't very large um it's it's like not even worth it you know you'd rather just go and buy lumber but this you just drop it on crank this thing up which is the part that doesn't work exactly as advertised but anyway i'll get over that some other time but anyway um you crank it up and then you can cut that flat edge and then you can flip it over and now you can crank them um both at the same level and get a nice square cut
That is a uh, nice 10 foot, eight by eight tamarack. Post. So this will be one of the three on that edge because that one's gonna be 10 foot or 10 feet. The second tier, if you will, or line of the three will be taller because this will be a shed roof on this side. Um, the same as the other side. So the middle two sets of, of posts, three and three, those will be probably about three feet taller. I'll have to check. I'll have to see how much pitch I want on that. These will be six feet out of the ground. Those will probably be nine feet out of the ground. Trying to turn the kitchen and living room into a bedroom. Then you gotta pre cool the house down right before bed. Otherwise, it gets into the 80s and nobody likes that except this girl. Go near my spot. Yeah, you should see what they do in the morning. I'll just show you how happy they are when it's time to get out of bed in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> 